Hey YouTube, it's a two for today. Today we're going to be doing the Walther P1. It's a former service pistol, the West German and later German Army. But first... The Walther P1 is a 9mm semi-automatic pistol. As double action and single action with a safety decocker with a uh, European style heel release and holds a capacity of 8 rounds of 9mm a sight picture. The Walther P1 is uh, West Germany's post World War II service pistol. They adopted a uh, to replace the P38, which the only real difference between the P1 and P38 is the frame. The World War II P38s have a steel frame. The uh, P1s have an aluminum alloy frame. In my case, I have an older variant that doesn't have the, uh, it's like a hex bolt or something that goes right here to strengthen the frame. Because the aluminum frames have a habit of cracking around here from use of lots of uh, hot 9mm that Germans like to use in their pistols and submachine guns. So I think mine might be a mixed parts gun because... It says P38 on the slide, so maybe they're reusing old slides left over from the war because my example was made in November of 1960, so it's fairly old in the P38 lineage, I guess you could say. And mine is pretty sure it's ex German Army right there for the BW right there. And also, uh, it's like a Browning style tilting barrel. Locking uses this little wedge right here, which locks into. Let's see if I show it. These little rectangles right here, you can actually see them go forward. And it goes up and locks into those. The Bright Knight 2 works the same way. Maybe I can remove there. I might as well show you the trigger pull with double action. It's a bit heavy, and not the greatest, but it works all right. Just reset. A very short reset before you can fire again. And has a bit of a heavy single action pull, but it's not the worst. Not as bad as the VP70 I reviewed a little bit ago. <laughs> Also, the P1s and P38s and the later Walter P5 are a bit unique in that they eject to the left. Because that's the extractor right there. So when it fires, it ejects out the left side instead of the, the right or up like most pistols. But it's a fairly good shooter. I mean, I actually prefer shooting uh, this over some more modern pistols, but the eight rounds doesn't last particularly long on the range. You need to reload them up more frequently, although it does have the added benefit of saving you a little bit of ammo compared to just bleeding through 17 rounds of 9mm of a Glock. But... The grip for me is not the most comfortable, but I have weird hands, so your miles may vary on that one. But, uh, it's a fairly accurate. I mean, I get decent size grips. I mean, I could probably get more if I got a 
commercial uh, Walther P1 instead of a military surplus model. But I haven't I haven't seen any commercial Walther P1s at all ever. I think most of them stayed in Germany. So I've not seen any in the United States. I mean, there probably is some, but I just haven't seen them. That's the only reason why I haven't fitted this with uh, wooden grips, because I kind of want to keep the old, how it was set up for the military. Oops, sorry. And in case you're wondering about the front sight, whoever last had drifted it, Let's see if it'll let, let it focus. Drifted it really far to the left. I don't know if it was just a point of aim for that shooter or for this particular pistol, but I mean, I was shooting a little bit to the right when I was firing it, but that was probably just my trigger squeeze more than the gun itself. They're still relatively available, and they're usually like, I usually see them around the five to $600 range. But they're still relatively gettable and they're band state friendly so if you live in a band state you can get one of these since they only hold eight rounds of ammo and i think you can get them on a curia relic license if you have one since one it's more than 50 years old and two it's i don't know if it'll play into it but technically it belongs to a government that doesn't really exist anymore but i think it's more just it's old than uh Political status. Alright. Well, that was just a little quick look over the uh, Walter P1. And hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for watching this particular terrible video. Glad you made two today. May I make another one if I'm feeling like it later. But uh, hope you have a nice day and hope to see you again soon.